Hey there, friends. Welcome back to the channel where we take a deep dive into the world of AI tools and digital design. And today we're talking about Flux by Black Forest Labs. Now, if you're thinking, what is Flux? Don't worry, I'm here to enlighten you faster than a caffeinated squirrel on a sugar rush. Just go to blackforestlabs.ai and you can scroll through and you can see examples of images created by Flux. Just click each image. Below, you can see the prompt that was used to create this image. A portal into a mythical forest on the wall of my small, messy bedroom. It's very good at creating text. You can use very small prompts, just a person. Or you can create prompts that are actually quite lengthy and very descriptive. Flux provides three different models. Pro, Dev, and Schnell. Pro is top of the line. Dev is just about as good. Just slightly below Pro, and then Schnell is their fastest model. And the quality is definitely less than Dev. So the gap in quality between Dev and Schnell is greater than the gap in quality between Pro and Dev. You're probably asking yourself a few questions. Like what features does Flux offer that makes it stand out? How accurate are the outputs it generates? Let's break down Flux using my ingenious focus acronym. First up, features. Does it provide relevant features? Flux, the model, has a lot of different parameters that can be set. However, the different parameters that will be available to you will be based on the different platform or interface that you use to access the model. I'm using fal.ai, fal.ai, to show you some of the different parameters that can be set when you're using Flux. As usual, we have our prompt. And this is the default prompt example that file.ai will provide. You may have seen a picture that basically represents this. Charismatic speaker is captured mid-speech. He has long, slightly wavy blonde hair tied in a ponytail. Additional settings. We can specify the aspect ratio, square, portrait 4.3, portrait 16 by 9, and so on. You can also use a custom aspect ratio. You can set the number of inference steps to perform default value 28. Feel free to experiment with that. For our examples today, I'm going to leave this at the default of 28. You can put a seed here. The seed basically represents a previous image that was created. So if you wanted to create a new image that's very similar to a previous image, you would put the seed for that image here. The guidance skill, and we can control the number of images that are created with each run. There are many other parameters that can be specified for Flux. However, these are the parameters that you will most likely be using. I'm giving Flux a five-star rating for features. Next, we have output. Does Flux provide accurate, valuable, and relevant outputs? Okay, here we are back at file.ai. Let's go ahead and specify the criteria that we need to create an amazing image. In the interest of controlling all aspects of your image, here are the different areas that you might want to think about. We have focal subject, we have overall setting, we have camera angle and composition, and we have unique details and style and mood. Okay, so for the focal subject, a beautiful woman sitting in a vintage car. For overall setting, I'm going to say she is parked along a scenic coastal road with the ocean waves crashing in the background. For camera angle and composition, I'm going to say the camera is placed outside the car, capturing her through the open window from a side angle with the coastline visible through the windshield. Unique details. She wears a chic, wide-brimmed hat and large sunglasses with a silk scarf tied around her neck, fluttering in the wind. And for style and mood, the image should convey a sense of classic, effortless glamour with bright, sunny lighting that enhances the vibrancy of the scene. I'm going to make this a 16 by 9. Actually, not portrait. I want landscape 16 by 9. We'll leave the number of inference steps to 28. We're not going to put anything in the seed field since we're not basing this off of a previous image. The guidance skill, based on my research, this works better a little lower. Let's try two. And we'll just try a single image for now. And let's run it. Okay, we have our image and it looks like it carried out all of our instructions. A beautiful woman in a vintage car, 
parked along a scenic coastal road. The camera's placed outside the car. Coastline is visible through the windshield. She wears a chic wide brim hat. The image should convey a sense of classic effortless glamour. All of that was respected, even the sunny lighting that enhances the vibrancy of the scene. And if we look at the image, I'm going to click right here to make it bigger. Okay, now that I've zoomed in, we can take a look at the detail in the image, and I feel that it is very realistic. It's possible that her skin could actually look a little more realistic. However, maybe she just has amazing skin. When the skin is almost a little too smooth, that is a bit of a giveaway that an image was created with AI. But overall, I feel that this image is nice and really did a great job of capturing everything that we asked for. Okay, now we're going to try another interface for using the Flux model. Just go to fluxpro.art. That's fluxpro.art to use this interface. Actually, as far as using Flux, this is my favorite interface to use at this time. We can browse by the different types of art that have been created with Flux. And if you're Bill and Brave, feel free to click safety and you'll see that right now we are in safe mode. But you can turn this off and you can actually go to explicit mode. And yes, it will be explicit. So what you would do is just click there and you can unclick safe. So basically you would only be seeing explicit if that's what you want. And then you would close this and you'd refresh your browser and oh boy. Okay, let's go ahead and try creating an image with fluxpro.art. To do that, we'll click create. And I already have a prompt in the clipboard, which I will paste in. And again, I'm using our focus acronym to specify focal length, overall setting, camera angle and composition, unique details, and style and mood. This one's going to be much different. This one's going to be, should I say whimsical? A sophisticated penguin at a fancy cocktail party holding a martini glass. He's in a lavish ballroom. The camera's positioned slightly above the penguin. The penguin's wearing a tiny tuxedo with a bow tie. The scene should evoke a sense of absurd elegance with rich, opulent lighting that humorously contrasts with the penguin's natural waddle. Now, we are talking about an image here, not a video, so I'm not exactly sure how it's going to portray that, but let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. I'm going to go with 16 by 9 again. Just as I was showing you earlier how you can browse through images between safe and explicit, also you have the setting here when you create an image to determine how safe to explicit you want to create that image. For this, I'm going to say mild. There's no reason for this whimsical creation to go into the mature or explicit areas. Feel free to explore those areas on your own. Steps for this interface has a default of 25. As we saw with foul.ai, it actually had a default of 28. That's interesting, but we'll leave this default of 25. The guidance, we have it currently set to three. For this one, I'm gonna leave it at the default and let's see what happens. We're not going to use a C because we're not basing it off of a previous image. And let's go ahead and generate. Okay, we have our sophisticated penguin drinking a martini. Looking down, I think it respected all of the aspects of the prompt. I think the detail looks pretty good. We have a nice depth of field blur on the background. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this picture. All right, friends, I've saved the best for last. And by best, I mean most controversial because Flux will allow you to create images using IP, using intellectual property. So whether you agree with it or not, I feel like it's my job to show you how the tool does it. So let's go. Okay, here we go, friends. Camp Kardashian and Tinkerbell designing a new fashion line in a magical workshop. The setting is a whimsical fairy tale workshop filled with glowing fabrics, enchanting sewing machines, Pixie dust, of course. The camera is positioned at a creative angle, capturing Kim and Tinkerbell as they collaborate on a design. Kim is in a trendy off-the-shoulder blouse with her hair in a sleek ponytail, focused on her sketches. Tinkerbell, in her classic green dress, flutters above the table, adding magical touches to the designs. The scene should evoke a sense of creativity and enchantment with warm, golden lighting that highlights the magical elements and the excitement of fashion design. 
there is absolutely no reason that this picture should turn out explicit. But why not just see what happens when we go with explicit? Brace yourselves. Here we go. Okay, friends, we have our pictures. If you want to explore what the explicit area can really do, you'll have to do that yourself. Just make sure to include explicit instructions uh, in the prompt. Because as you can see, we chose explicit here, but we didn't really ask for anything explicit in the prompt. So the pictures that we received are actually very innocent. And they look quite beautiful. I'm going to zoom in. I think this first one, maybe the third one, might be the best. Oh, this third one has a character we didn't ask for, like a person, Tinkerbell, and then also an actual Tinkerbell. That's very interesting. Let's go ahead and zoom in on the first one. Actually, I think this turned out really nice. The first thing that strikes me is the lighting looks amazing. Tinkerbell is sprinkling her pixie dust on the creation, just in case Kim needed some help with her creative design abilities. There's a little uh, pixie dust or, or big chunks of pixie dust floating off of the canvas, off of the table. Yeah, I think the lighting just really looks amazing. Tinkerbell looks amazing. Kim's looking good. The depth of field is really nice. The camera's definitely focused on the characters. You can see the items in the background, of course, are blurred. And even this item here to the left, which is closer to the camera, is blurred since the focus is right here in the middle. I'm very happy with this. What do you think? Do you have some ideas of some images that you'd like to create? Are you thinking of going off into the explicit mode? I was about to say, drop me a comment. How about you just hint around to what you might create? I'm definitely curious, so please leave me some comments. For output, five stars. Now, friends, I'd really like to hear from you. What's the most mind-blowing image you've created using AI? Please share in the comments. Moving on to cost. Is Flux priced competitively? Regarding the cost of Flux, it depends on the platform, the interface that you use to access Flux. Right now, I'm on the foul.ai pricing page. And you can see here that the dev model is 025 cents per megapixel. Chanel is 0 0.003 cents per megapixel. And Flux One Pro is 0 0.05 cents per megapixel. But wouldn't it be amazing if the creation of all of your masterpieces was free? Oh, yeah. FluxPro.art is currently completely free. You heard me right. Enjoy it while you can, because that's a business model that can't last forever. Flux earns a five-star rating for cost. Now let's talk usability. Is Flux user-friendly and intuitive? When it comes to usability, I don't think it can get any easier than the interface that FluxPro.R provides for you. Simply enter your prompt, specify your aspect ratio, specify how crazy you want to get, and you can leave the steps and the guidance at their default settings or feel free to experiment. And that's basically it. I'm giving Flux five stars for usability. Finally, we have speed. Does Flux respond quickly and efficiently? Both foul.ai and fluxpro.art provided image creations in about 10 seconds. And for fluxpro.art, that was four different renderings. So definitely no complaints there. For speed, I'm giving Flux five stars. So what's the verdict? Flux scores a perfect overall score of five stars. I know what you're thinking, friends. Flux is great and all, but how do I turn these stunning creations into mesmerizing animations? Well, I'm glad you asked. Allow me to introduce you to the magical world of clean AI. Just click right here to watch my video on mastering clean AI. If you found this review helpful, give it a like. It's like giving your boy Adrian a virtual high five. Until next time, Keep creating, keep dreaming, and remember, with the right tools, the sky's the limit.